If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you. Hi, this is Melanie Johnson. Thanks for joining us. You may have the issue of trying to keep up with Amazon. They constantly are changing, coming up with new things. Part of that's good because they're innovative, right? But it's up for us to stay on top of it and figure out every time they make a change of how to do it. So you may have heard of A+. You may have heard of some of these new things. We're going to go over all of that. We have April Cox, who is a publisher. She's an author. She has made all these children's books. She is an expert at this, and she's joining us today. April, thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Well, tell us a little bit how you got involved in publishing and becoming an expert at all the ins and outs of Amazon. Well, my background is in IT and consulting. So 35 years of immersing myself completely in all kinds of different industries. So when I started publishing myself, being inspired by my grandkids, I could not help but immerse myself completely into this amazing platform. And, you know, it's just the propeller in me, the propeller hat starts spinning as soon as things complex start coming up and I start just digging in Amazon ads. What can we do as authors to improve our reach? What more can we do? And so as a consultant, as an expert, an IT you know, guru, I could not help but just get into this. And I found so many authors really need to be able to better understand that to be successful. So true. It gets to be dicey territory and, you know, people who want to do it themselves, it really is difficult to understand all the ins and outs of it. So let's talk a little bit about traditional publishers versus independent self-publishers. You know, it's been true in the past that big publishing houses get access to tools that us independent publishers don't necessarily get, but that's changing now. They're opening up some of this. Walk us through some of the things that we haven't had access to, or maybe still don't have access to, and what's new that we're getting access to now. Yeah, so Amazon does have, you know, for those large publishers that have vendor platforms or they have an advantage account, we were able to do and we are able to do more than what others can. For example, being able to create an Amazon store is not something that's available to the regular person that's just starting with KDP. I hope that they open that up in the future for them. We do also have a lot more options with ads than others do. For example, I've seen some new features coming out with where Amazon ads are actually providing kind of like Facebook looking audiences. So we can start tapping into audiences like lifestyle, you know, somebody maybe that just added a new baby to the family would be perfect for my, my new book, A Little Sister for Brady. So we're get, I'm seeing some of that coming in and those that was kind of brand new recently with display ads. We also have access to do video ads. So and A plus content was something that was really brand new. It's just now getting pushed out, but we've had the ability to do that as large brands for quite some time. And that's the stuff that you see at the bottom of a listing that says from the publisher. And you see these big brands making their brand presence known. They're able to add all of these additional beautiful visual modules that really add to an, Am an Amazon listing. And now Amazon's rolled that out and has allowed anybody with KDP publishing to be able to go in and add their own A plus content, which is most people don't even realize it's even there for them. Walk us through exactly what is A plus and what's A plus content and what should we do? Yeah. So A plus and, you know, I kind of interchangeably call it A plus content is very visual look and feel. There's a number of different modules you can add, but it will come up at the bottom. If you're on a desktop, it'll come up at the bottom of the screen of your Amazon listing and it will show, you, you know, depending on what 
you know, how it was designed. It'll show some beautiful visuals. You can get some inside looks at what's in the book and you can comment. What I typically like to use it for is tell the person that's looking at your listing, what are the top three reasons why this, they should purchase this, con this book? What's special about the book? And you can provide, you can show beautiful imagery for those that are like me launching picture books. You have the beautiful images and really be able to provide and show off your author brand. Now that if you are looking on a desktop, you might have to scroll to the bottom of the page, but where it's really powerful is for those who are accessing this listing on a mobile phone, because it ends up being at the very top of their listing. So if you go to my listing and you look up one of my books and the very and you're on a phone, and by the way, 60 to 80% of people, depending on their age group, depending on what they're doing, are shopping from their phones. And especially the you know, kids today, everything is on their phone, busy parents. So when they're getting on a cell phone, the very first thing they're seeing is these beautiful, rich imagery. And it does end up giving you the benefit of a much higher conversion rate on your listing. So if you turn browsers into buyers more often, then you're going to be more profitable. You know, I just want to get a visual. I've not done this before, but I want to share my screen so people can actually see. I'm pulling up the listing of your book right here. So let's go. So here's, you know, the book, I'm scrolling to the bottom of it. And so this is from the publisher. This is yeah. from April. So you're seeing these images, right, right here. Yes. And, um, you know, you've got extra information, maybe a little bit more. And so you're actually including visuals from the book. Now, why is this different than yeah. the preview of the book? Because so you're it, giving... It, so the, when you do a look inside, you can see some imagery, but you are guiding them. Usually a look inside will only get you so much of the content and you're not able to say, show this page and this page. And in content, like, like you just scrolled past, these are the three things that I want people to really know about the book and why it's important to mm -hmm. them. So you're able to kind of pull that together and kind of guide them through what are some of the important areas you want them to know about for your book. And the other reason why it's important is because when somebody's on a cell phone, they don't have access to the look inside. So if you don't have A plus content, they're not seeing any of it. Uh, interesting. Now, did you add these here as well? Yes. Uh, so at the very bottom, the other really great thing about it is you're able to cross promote other things. And these are my, at the very bottom, you see here, this active listing, where if you can actually make those, give those hot links to other books that you have purchased, that you have available, that they can also purchase. So again, you're able to really put together what is this beautiful, you know, view of your brand, including what are some of the other books that they should also check out and having it to the point at that bottom module there where they can just click those hot links. It makes for a really beautiful transition to let people discover more than just the one that they're looking at in that listing. This is huge. I mean, mm -hmm. to have this to be at the top of the listing on a phone and here and to promote your other books, this is a huge advantage. Absolutely. Um, it's like every author that didn't have the access before needs to go in and do this. I see that this one is different than the other book that I clicked on. So I'm wondering, are each of your books, have you done something a little different? I'm still sharing I, my I think I've play, played around quite a bit over, over time. And some of them, I, at this one here, if you actually hold on a minute, it says it actually like moves. It allows, you see how it's like a video. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, now that used to be something that Amazon would allow us to use like if files that, that move like video yeah. animated files. And at the time we were, I was all excited because now I could add this moving content and Amazon now no longer is allowing that but I don't dare change what I've got there because I love that it moves. <laughs> so, so, you know, sometimes we get something new and we think, oh, I've discovered some a new way of making my listing a little more special. And then they change their mind and it goes away, but they grandfathered mine in. So that one hasn't changed. So I play around with a lot of different things because I want to try out 
you know, what works on one page sure. in one, one format, and then I change and try it, do it a little bit something differently, maybe on another listing. And one of the things that's really kind of cool is that Amazon has, I just saw it appear literally two days ago. So we're talking third week of December here, where now they're going to be offering A, B content, which means on your A+, plus, if you want to do like me and try out different layouts and see which yeah. one works better, you can do an A, B split and some people will be offered one and some people will be offered another and you can see which one actually converts better and they're going to be able to offer that to us. So that's really cool as well. That's huge too. I mean, I think this is a game changer. I don't know how this, have you noticed since you've been doing this, I don't know how long you've been doing this, that it has affected your book sales. Absolutely. And what it, what I find that it's really making a difference is turning those buyers in those browsers into buyers. And I have helped a number of other authors. I am a coach. I work with clients and I had one client in particular that I work with him. He didn't have a lot of branding. He had, you know, dozens of books all around activities and things for the kids. And so I guided him to use A plus content to really show his brand, make it something that's really, you know, shows the brand, shows off yeah. what he's doing. And he has tripled his conversions as a result of just revamping the listing, adding A plus content. We did some cover redesigns as well, but boy, it has been making a huge difference. So what do you find has been the most effective? Obviously, you've tried this out. You've done it for yourself several different ways. You've done it for other authors. What are you seeing are the most effective things to put on your A-plus page? So I always like to start at the beginning with a beautiful mock-up of the book. I like the cover, a 3D mock-up of the cover, and maybe an open book mock-up that shows one of your favorite spreads and really make you know, have your logo or the title of the book in a nice fancy font so that it starts to build a brand. Like this is who you are as an author and allow mm -hmm. that to carry forward. And then I like to add a little bit of content that shows what are like three different things, three reasons why somebody should buy your book. Now it could mm -hmm. be, and you want to, in this place, really talk to your target audience. So authors need to know and connect with their target audience. Who are they? What do they want to hear? Like, are they interested in peaceful parenting, mindfulness, mm -hmm. and talk in their language about those things that, that are going to really resonate with them. Put a beautiful image above that represents that. For example, this book provides social emotional learning for ages whatever, and then show a beautiful image of maybe child sharing or something from your book, you know, so highlight three really important images, three important reasons why this book is right for the person browsing right now. Mm -hmm. And then as you move forward, also don't, first of all, don't go too wordy, try to keep it short and sweet. A few modules works perfectly. I've seen some go way overboard and they want to tell the person everything about their book, everything about their backstory. It ends up turning people off and they'll click off. So don't go too much, but also then get in there and show them maybe if you've got an activity book that goes with a picture book or you have some additional books in the series that you want them to know about, then add that module that hot links it all so that people can see the brand and who you are as an author. If you have a specific author story or something fun that you want to include, like an author image. I had one author who had, who wrote zany, crazy picture books, and we put his author photo there with, you know, things bullet points next to it that says, you know, has crazy eyebrows, loves high fives, you know, like the things that you would just laugh that it was yeah. in a bio, but it set the stage that this is his author brand. This is who he is. So allow people to connect on that personal level with you, your books, your brand, and specifically the one listing that you're looking at. Now, how do you create this? Do you go into Author Central to create it? No, um, actually, it's right through KDP. The okay. same way that an author would create their ads, they go into their bookshelf, 
and mm -hmm. next to the book that they want to set up this content for, they would go into the, you know, the three dots that, that has the drop uh -huh. down and then choose promote and advertise. And you'll of course be popped into where you would normally advertise for your book. Scroll down a little bit past that section and you'll see this brand new A plus content and you can start building it right from there. Wow. And now can you put, you mentioned you can put links to other books and things. Can any other link outside of Amazon there, for instance, like I have a Ted talk, would I be able to put my Ted talk link there or does Amazon say, no, we're not going to send you anywhere outside of Amazon. Yeah. Normally Amazon frowns on trying to move any, anything outside of Amazon. In some mm -hmm. cases, when we are designing a plus content, we'll have like one large thing that for you as an author, having an author brand, your TED Talks and other things are important, right? So maybe that mm -hmm. very first image that I would recommend for you would be showing you your TED Talk, you know, your and books and kind of have like uh -huh. a little thing there. And you could on that image sometimes, you know, put, you know, TED Talks on authorwebsite.com, right? So, and it's up there. It's not like a hot link, but it right. shows on an image. Sometimes Amazon will bounce that back. Sometimes it gets through without an issue. I think it, part of it depends on who's looking at it and whether you, you have an advantage account, which is very much more automated versus you're a single author trying to do it for yourself. Wow. You unpacked a lot of great information with that. I think this is a huge deal and a game changer, but you just wonder a lot of authors aren't going to know that have published their book. They're not on top of this. So if you're listening to this, you're going to be ahead of the curve that you've learned a lot. If you can't do it, have your, see if your publishing house will do it. And this is what I'm finding about the traditional publishing houses. So think of how many books are traditionally published. They barely even have an Amazon author page for their authors. I don't think they utilize the technology and the innovation that's available to them. So there's also something else new, which is Kindle Villa. Explain what Kindle Villa is. So Villa, it, you know, it's one of those things that popped up around April of this past year, of this year, 2021. And at the time, Amazon announced to authors that, hey, we're going to have something available. It's, you know, episodes, series of things. And this is something that was very familiar or very popular with younger audiences, mm -hmm. things like Wattpad and I think it's Radish, where authors will publish episodes. And it's, it got very popular with fan fiction, you know, people that loved a certain, you know, Twilight, for example, they would go and write their own fan fiction around it and release episodes of like different things happening. And the kids loved it. And what would happen is you, the way, so then, you know, now it's this kind of similar episodes being released, kind of a serial thing is now Kindle Vela. And what will happen is the author has the ability to release three of the you know, series, like here's number one episode, and it could be anywhere from, I think, 500 to five, maybe 5,000 words, something like that, uh -huh. where it's a series, you know, you, the author releases a few episodes and people will are able to visit and view these few episodes at no cost. It's all free. If they like it, now you, now this author is, you know, promising to release a new episode every week, or some of them do it every day. And so they can use coins or what they call tokens. Author readers can go and buy tokens from Amazon, 200 tokens for $1.99. Huh. And they spend their tokens on these serialized story content. Um, they also upvote things. They'll say, I like this, you know, this is my favorite and so there's this whole social thing around it where it connects readers with authors and allows them to just interact a little bit and get this whole new thing. You know, you're not buying a book. You're just, you're spending some tokens that you purchased to see the next bit of a story in a series that you really like. So is it, I just want to get, so I'm really clear and our listeners are clear. So is it like they're getting a chapter of the book, each one, each they're doing three series or releasing three. It's the first three chapters of the book. Is it, I'm not sure exactly what the content is or yeah. is it different content than what's in the book? 
Yeah, so let's just say it's not a book. This is like very serialized content. It's it's an episode. Think of it as an episode that could be considered a chapter of a book, but you must not be taking a book and putting a chapter at a time out there. What you might what you can do is release a chapter or a story or episode, how you however you want to consider it. You mm-hmm. can release these and you can do it one at a time. And at the end, let's say the end of this mini chapter episode story, you decide I'm gonna go put it all together and release it as a book. That's okay. You just can't do it the other way around. It has to be fresh, brand new content that is not available for free anywhere else. I see. So really, if you have a book, you can't turn the book into Kindle Vella or it has to be additional content, like a backstory to the book. Could be prequel. Yeah, it could be like a whole prequel. So maybe you could take your fans and your audience you're building and announce to them through your email list and social media, hey, we're going to take the backstory on this really famous book series and it's going to be turned into a Kindle Vella. Yeah series, episodes, whatever, that could be a cool way to take success in one area and kind of move them into that other area. But I think more often than not, it's going to be the younger audience that really loves this. I don't see myself doing, you know, reading or consuming things like that. But for this younger audience who is out there consuming things through Wattpad and Radish, And they're able to pull these things and that's what they like. That's what they consume. They're used to interacting in that way. Then it could mean a whole new, new generation of viewers, maybe that wouldn't have found you otherwise. So think of it this way. So there's a series Yellowstone that's out with Kevin Costner, right? So huge thing. Now they launched, I think it's 1813 or I can't remember the year, but they have the other. And what it is, it's Kevin Costner's grandfather. It's based on that story from his character of Yellowstone. So think if you have a fiction book or even your children's book, you take the puppy and you say, well, what was the puppy's heritage or what was, you know, that character's heritage? How did his story start when he was born? You know, what was the history of his family and carry it forward? And so you have this other episode of the backstory of how they came into life and how they got to where they were. So I think that's, they've been doing that in Hollywood for years. So now it's a way to do it with your book. I think the key is how do you use that for nonfiction? I can really see a clear vision on fiction, but I'm not sure how you could use it for a nonfiction book. I was pondering this myself because I'm in the process of writing a nonfiction book on self-publishing. And I was thinking about that today, even in just preparation for this. Could I maybe release lessons at a time out into my, to my target audience? And, you know, maybe there are people out there that would prefer to consume these lessons, one series in little bite-sized pieces, rather than purchasing one huge book and they're not following along. So I kind of see it as what a great way to deliver a challenge or a, an experience that takes a person from knowing nothing about a topic all the way through the end of now they're they're more expert in it or they're more ready to begin, for example, in my case, their self-publishing journey. Now that makes sense to me, especially if you say, you know, so many times a nonfiction book, they have here are the top things you should do from this chapter. Mm-hmm. So if you take those things and say, we're now going to have on Kindle Vela, a challenge to walk you through each week, there'll be a release of you should have done this and done this. We're going to break it down into bite-sized pieces and right. walk you through this mini segment of how to break this down and do that. It gives them, if you're releasing once a week, it gives them that week to complete that, that ex- exercise activities yeah. and be mm-hmm. ready for the next one which I think yeah. is cool because then people can start at any time with the beginning of your series and become mm-hmm. experts walking through it. It's almost like having a workbook format. Yeah. Now this is only available, you said on Wattpad or what? Uh, the- no. So, so Wattpad was one of the ones that made this type of serialized content really uh-huh. famous, especially okay. with kids, younger kids, college kids. But now it is, you know, as now it's Amazon that's rolling it out in their own version of this serialized content. 
it you doesn't do have your everything Kindle. that the others have had so i wonder how you know does that limit the amount of what how it can be embraced by this audience that's used to these extra features on other platforms for example with wattpad and others the they were able to interact directly with the author they were able to send comments to the author and the author would respond. Now with Amazon's version, you're able to give the author a thumbs up or vote it as like one of your favorites and you're only allowed one favorite each week or whatever. So there's very limited. So if an episode has, you know, has been faved by a whole lot of people, then Amazon kind of captures that and, and kind of features it. Hey, these are some popular ones you might want to look at but they yeah. don't have that interactivity between author and reader that some of the other platforms do. So we'll see if they add that later. Now, I'm wondering if we have some authors that we do promotions for that are with traditional publishers. Most of our authors are with us, but I'm wondering when an author signs a traditional publishing contract, if that goes with it, like, are, do they have the rights to that? Or like, could someone come and say, Hey, we can take your book, even though it's with a traditional publisher and we'll create the Kindle Vela for you and that content for you. What do you think about that? Oh, that would be really cool. I would definitely take a really good solid look at the contract with a traditional publisher and see whether that you know, have an attorney advise on whether or not that could be so the offshoot could be done without violating the contract. But that sounds really promising. Yeah. And I think this should be part of something, you know, that innovative publishers like ourselves that we're trying to find out what this is, how to leverage this and include it in publishing contracts, because to make sure that we do it, it's utilizing that real estate that Amazon gives you. What else, What do you think that some of the other things are that tools that maybe traditional publishers have had that that independent publishers don't have that you think might be getting rolled out? <clears throat> well, I hope no, nobody has a crystal ball into Amazon. They're pretty you know, tight about what it is that they share or not share. But I'm hoping that as they move forward, that they're going to make more functionality available at the fingertips of people that are just self-publishing through KDP. Mm -hmm. For example, I would love to see them give them the availability to create Amazon stores. If they have a certain number of books or more, they should be able to go in and create a store and, you know, tap into some of, you know, the functionality with Amazon merch and add that to their store as well and be able to really expand that. There's also a very limited functionality right now for people who are who want to do more than just print on demand. They want, they've taken their self-published book and they've created, and they've, you know, got printers to print a few thousand copies, for example. Now, in order for them to sell those copies, they go to Amazon to Seller Central. The bad thing, and they go through and, you know, they can either choose to list the products themselves as a third party, or they can do FBA, which is meaning fulfilled by Amazon. And they can ship these books to an Amazon yeah. warehouse. Amazon fulfills it. All that is, you know, can, they can get a lot more money per book because they've driven the prices of their book, their costs down by doing bulk printing but nobody in that situation has access to run their own Amazon ads if you're in Seller Central. It's horrible. Like, why yeah. wouldn't we have the ability to do that? So I would really hope that Amazon opens that door and lets them run their own ads, help. So, because I can run ads for them. I can go into my Advantage account and run ads. Why can't they run their own ads? So those, that's an important thing that I think would be really helpful. I think taking some of the functionality like they've, do, they've done with A+, that has been limited, the ability to put a video ad out is something that I can do in advantage, but they can't do themselves. So some people have come to me and, you know, me as a service provider, as a mentor, I do these things for them. I set up A plus content and do that where I would like to see them having more hands-on ability to do their own and mentor somebody through being more self-sufficient. And when there's not that ability for them to pick it up, when I help finish setting it up for them, it makes it just that much harder for changes and tweaks to happen. So 
you know, that's part of it. I love the idea that on the display ads and on some of the brand ads, we have this new functionality with, you know, lifestyle interests and we can tap into similar to what Facebook does. And that's not something that, that the regular person has access to. So I want to see more of that functionality released out into the general population. Is there anything that that's out there now that we have act that regular people have access to that you see most authors aren't using that they should be taking advantage besides A plus and Vela? I think A plus is the biggie. I think that advertising people don't advertise enough, and I think a lot of it is because it is so complex and so confusing. So that's another feature you can advertise and run some ads yourself. And I have a lot of people coming to me saying, you know, I just launched my book. I did all of this stuff. Now, what do I do? And, you know, check, checking to make sure that they're taking advantage of, first of all, that they have a really good cover, that they have a really good description, that they're, do, that they're running ads. Because if you're publishing, self-publishing a book, and it's, there's millions of them out there that you're competing for that shelf space, virtual shelf space, right? And how are people going to find you if you are not spending money on running ads? And unfortunately, you do have to do that in order for your book to be visible. Yeah, that makes sense. We find that a lot of people don't really monetize or maximize is the better word, maximize their Amazon author page. They mm -hmm. don't realize that they can put eight videos and eight photographs there and link their Absolutely. blog post or their yes, podcast too. That is such an important part of this and, you know, take the time and I'm always recommending they go through and they definitely do their Amazon author page, but also go put an author page on Goodreads and take, there's so much that you can take advantage of with their platform as well. And as well as BookBub and take the time to run promotions and incorporate that you know, if you're, if you're joined KDP Select, which allows you to set your book for free for five days, every 90 days. So you can do, you know, I usually try to break it up into three promotions where I'll do a two day free book, ebook promotion, a two day e free ebook promotion the following month, and then one for that third month. So every 90 days, they get five free days that they can utilize through Amazon. So if you take those since you most people sign up for them anyway, they don't really utilize them to the best of their ability. Mm -hmm. Combine that with a promo on BookBub or Fussy Librarian or one of those other promotion sites. And I have a list of somewhere around the neighborhood of 70 different promotion, free ebook promotion sites you can use to get the word out about your book and get more eyes on your book, on that free ebook, and hopefully inter interest that person into discovering you and your print books and be able to add just one more fan or follower into your email list or onto your social media. Boy, I, you know, I'm going to put you on the spot here. We would love that list in our VIP area, if you wouldn't sure. mind to add sure. that in as part of your bonus. Tell me, where do you think the future of publishing is going? Well, I think that with, with Vela, I think that it's telling me that there's, gonna, there's a lot more that Amazon is recognizing with the younger audience and these episodic things I think will only grow. I also think that them pushing more down to the self-published audience, the people that are on KDP, I think that's going to continue. I also love the fact, we didn't really touch on the fact that Amazon is now allowing hardcovers, print-on-demand hardcovers. I love that. I, this is something that Ingram Spark has been doing for a long time. And I think Amazon lost a lot of their print on demand because people were going to Ingram for the hardcovers and maybe doing the eBooks with Amazon. So now that we've got hardcovers in there, unfortunately, there are some limitations for people like me that do children's books. We aren't able to take advantage of those yet. You need to have a minimum of 75 pages in order to do a hardcover on Amazon. Uh -huh. Now, if that gets dropped down, then all the people that are, that are flooding to Ingram Spark to do their print-on-demand hardcovers or going to Lulu to do it, 
will go back to Amazon and be able to keep everything in all in one place. So I do hope that is an area that they will, number one, add more uh, sizes because right now the sizes are limited in what you can print with hardcover, but also bring down that minimum number of page requirements so that we can do more with children's books there as well. Love that. I think there's going to be more interactivity. Amazon's going to keep rolling out and testing different interactivity of what it was and how you had said, well, they let me do the video for the A plus for a while where I had to, got to do that. And I don't know if you remember, they had the Amazon giveaways. I don't know if you ever used that platform. We were using it like crazy and it was really helping our book sales and our numbers. We'd always see a spike and then it just went away. It just yeah. stopped. So yeah. So if you see something, I guess one of the lessons I'm learning from you, April, is that too, if you see something Amazon's offering, jump on it, figure out how to use it, maximize it because it might go away tomorrow. So, yeah. and I love that you were grandfathered in with all that. Yeah. Well, the other thing too, when you talk about interactivity, what I'd love to see more of, for example, as I'm doing my self-publishing book, my nonfiction I would love it to be able to have the interactivity where I can embed video and that it's all going to be available so that if somebody's going through a chapter and they want to click on a video link, that it's embedded right within. They're not like going off to some YouTube channel to view the video, but I'm hoping to see more of that allowed in some and available. And yes, of course, there are online eBooks and things like that platforms outside of Amazon where people do exactly that. But I want to see more of that incorporated in the everyday access to give people at their fingertips the additional mm -hmm. things that they want delivered to them. That's what I see is that books are going to become an experience. So you're reading the book, you get an experience by just reading the book, but it's going to become this multi interconnectivity of an experience when you read a book where you can have videos, you may be taken into a metaverse, all these different things and different options of things that you can create through a book. It's not just going to be the one function. I agree with that. And, you know, you talked about being advantage on Amazon a lot, being that how does a publishing house become an advantage publisher? Well, the funny thing is that Amazon had advantage open to, you know, you could just sign up as a, as an author and you could get become part of the advantage program. Then they close that down and they say that they're going to be able to start inviting people a little at a time back into the advantage program. They say they're making changes to it. I'm not quite sure if it's going to go away and be launched in some different platform, but I would say you can go on to Amazon and there is an invite page where you can go that says, you know, put yourself on the waiting list so that when they open the Advantage account again, you'll be invited in. So I would say absolutely do that. And let's keep our ears open to see what they're going to do. There was, there were, you know, rumors saying it was going to go away altogether. Other rumors saying that, no, they're just doing updates to it. And mm -hmm. then they're going to relaunch it again. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. So thank you so much, April. You gave us so much content. I really appreciate it. You were so generous. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. That's wonderful. If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you.